Hi guys, welcome back to Salt and Sacrifice. Um, so last episode we went to Bolgaran um, instead of uh, chasing the Venomancer in Ashmore Village. I have also done some extra farming runs of... I did with one extra for the Cryomancer and I did another of the Pyromancer I think and then I tried to do the Pyromancer again but his path actually took me somewhere that um, I wanted to actually capture on camera because in the recording, obviously, we got the magnesium supply from Bolgaran, and that unlocks extra parts to Ashbourne Village, which is where this pyromancer would go to. So I'll do those farmings when I'm not recording. But we're going to jump into here now, and we're going to explore a bit more. Now that we have the magnesium supply, we have that luxury. Um, it's, it's also, I think, good to keep in mind that um, we actually have uh, the Venomancer to do as well, who's a tier 3, but it seems like that's where we're at now. Tier 3 is fine for us to be hunting. Damn, one shot. So, with all that in mind, um, I recall there was a door along here, um, which uh, I think had one of those green knights who's quite like tricky uh, guarding it. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh god! Messed that up a bit. Yeah, stay there. I recall. There is, aha, yes, a green knight and a door that we can now open. Now, I'm wondering, can I? I cannot. Hmm. Yeah, we got him. So now we can actually open this up and have a look. Who are you? Grey Starstone. Ash Pie Trio. Okay, cool. Simple enough. Kind of cheesed him, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Got him up on the ledge above and then just jumped beneath him and just kept clapping them cheeks. Shovel sword right up the booty hole. Moving on, I guess. Um, so technically the Venomancer was the next thing to do, so we will head down for that. Um, the magnesium supply, where it unlocked, was actually up towards the left from the starting point when you come through the portal. You follow that up then, and you can activate one of the elevators to take you up. Um, but it feels like that's a bit more of a different direction, and maybe it unlocks another part of this area for a new hunt. But I don't really know for sure. So we'll leave that as like a secondary point to this. I've gone the complete wrong way. I apologise if I sneeze at any point, I appear to be coming down with something. Which is less than ideal, really. Man. 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Those were the things to tell us to hunt the Venomancer. There we go. Just need to be a bit careful. They are quite aggressive, but I didn't expect them to leap all the way up from down there. So yes. Baron Offering. Oh god. I'm expecting the Venomancer to be a real pain in the neck, actually, when we get to fighting him in a boss room. And in part, I think, purely because I'm expecting poison everywhere. Okay, he's going to summon those green knights as well. Jump up. No, don't want to? Okay. That's cool. That's cool too. Poison ball thing was it just followed me around. Okay. Chase on. Probably going to make use of my throwing axes as per in the boss fight. They are very good for it. Um, oh, he's going to be out here. Okay, okay. Suck it, boys. So we may as well. Oh, what a guess here. It's not ideal. Wait, where did the poison guy go then? I'm not looking to rematch you. I see the green lines are pointing this way though, off of it. They're gone the wrong way. Well, no, it's pointing to you, isn't it? Because you're poison. Ow. It is this way. going to be in here, is it? Oh, there's a guy over there. Jeez. Can't see what's going on. There we go. Right, I need to go back in the cave. I need to head down further in there. Right there. Not bad. let things respawn as well, mate. Which is not ideal. But never mind. It's what it is. The game's the game, man. Jeez, 
Ah, so we can open this. That's good. Get back away. I'm expecting the first time we actually properly fight him, I probably will get killed. Aha, uh -huh, hide it key. Hello. Chia, look as though I'm rescued. That is to say, I'm rescued as long as my rescue has no scruples about throwing in with a charming scoff law like myself. Tell me, chum, would you call yourself an ally to the less than law abiding? Sure. Delight upon delights, a fine friendship is today forged. I shall return to Pardon's Vale. I have a bit of a dem in below camp. Meet me there. Blue Heart Runners. What the hell was that thing? Dude. Gross. So that thing doesn't like the things that get spawned in. Alright. No! I feel like we're about to do the boss hunt. Boss hunt? Boss fight. In the hunt. That green guy is... Yeah, they hurt. Not an ideal fellow to have just lurking around that can jump so high as well. actually helping me. That's nuts. <laughs> um, okay. Sure. <laughs> if the guy wants to help me, I guess. I'm not going to complain. Pilgrims earned from it. Some venom glands and stuff. My power and my joy, you've ended it, you pathetic vile creature. Nothing gave me more pleasure than to see my venom strangle the life out of living things. Suffocating their hearts with congealed blood, and how I wish I could suffocate yours. My heart is gone now, you took it, how am I still alive? You won't be for long. Of course, a cruel executioner, every inch of you brims with the mindless destruction of knowledge. You relish in the pain of those who followed the whispers. If only I could perish far from the sight of your hideous face. My blood, my blood feels so hot, it's burning. Get wrecked, mate. That's all I'll say. <laughs> right. Oh. That was interesting. Um, poison guy was actually less hassle than I thought he would be. Um, over down this way? There wasn't, was there? Unless I was too hyper-focused on chasing. No, that guy just gets up and then yeah, there's nothing really off down here. Okay. With that in mind, let's head back to... Let's head back to Pardoner's Vale at this point. Um, I think that's everything down this way that I can think of off the top of my head anyway. 
So let's um, yeah, let's return to camp. We'll go and speak to everyone. Cool. So um, let's have a look what it did toxic wise for us. Probably gave us some interesting stuff. Um, so I have at this point purchased most things I need. I think I just need the amulet or the dagger for the fire one. I'm not sure. I think it might actually be the amulet because I've definitely got the booster fire attack. Um, I'm not going to bother with the armor because it's light armor and we're wearing heavy armor. Um, there's more of an incentive to kill a cryomancer for us, um, which I will potentially try to make this armor set at some point. I've got all of these. I think I've also got the sword. Ah, here's the poison. I will probably get this armor as well, but this is going to be light armor, isn't it? Yeah. Staff, half spear, whip, throwing daggers. I didn't think this would be a heavy weapon kind of thing. So poison defense is probably going to be pretty helpful. Um, searching haze burnt residue recovers health. Huh. Interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's make. Um, I think I want to say I'll get that first, and then I can just get the trophy because why not? So I need the amulet and the dagger left from the poison one, realistically. And let's go and level up. Tree of skill. So we currently have four to spend. Um, don't necessarily think damage is an issue. Our equipment load has gotten better, but we'll upgrade to there. Uh, what are we on right now? We're on 20. Uh, we've got 29. So wait, does that put it up to 31? So it jumps 2 doing that. Do I need health? Mm, perhaps. I, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to go for Divine or Forbidden yet. I don't feel like I need the special moves necessarily as it goes. Um, so will is Stamina. We don't really have Stamina building up here, do we? No, it's all like strength, endurance. Less about being able to swing or block a lot. Yeah, so if I wanted that, I'd have to invest sort of here to try and get some, I guess. Hmm, there's not actually a lot of willpower. Ah, oh, there they are. Kind of over the other side. No matter, that's fine. Um, cool. So throw an axes as well. Let's get this endurance. We'll upgrade for that. So we have the option of the next level of throwing axes as well, because we're using them. We didn't really use them much in that fight actually. He, he was quite a straightforward boss as it goes. Um, yeah, right. Let's also invest in some. Mm, don't need focus points. Let's do the vitality. Gives us a bit of a health boost. I think that'll do for now. Um, and then we need to go and find a guy. He said his den is kind of at the bottom. He's not there. This would be the other side, maybe? Treacher's Grotto. Oh, I can set rooms down here. What? That's odd. Um, hello? Ah, he's here. Glad you found me, chum. And it looks like the old smuggler's den is still intact. I'm called Merchant Rory. I'm a blue heart runner. We spice merchants, as we are called, trade in delightfully rare 
the arcane essence of the haze burnt husks that infest this frontier. Say, chum, I couldn't help but notice that you've got a lantern on you. Signal lantern, eh? Done some smuggling in your time? Yes. So, ah, yeah, the thing I chose to start with was a lantern. Um, and I guess it's relevant for him then. Well, that's quite interesting, quite interesting indeed. If you could see fit to part ways with the lantern, let's call it a donation to the Blue Heart Course. Well, I'd compensate you well. What do you say? It's yours. Perfection. Compensation is promised. Five grey starstone. Oh. We spice merchants aren't villains, no. There is a thriving market for the essence of Hazeburn husks. Truly the villainous thing to do would be to deny those in need. Okay. Bye. So I can buy the hat, gloves, boots, a half spear or a rapier. Blue candle. Initiates the search for Inquisitor to invade as a representative of the Blue Heart Runners. PVE slash PVP. Okay. Well, we'll buy it. Why not? I see he's supposed to be kind of like sneaky then. Huh. Okay. This is interesting. Not really sure what all this is about, but it's cool, I guess. I'm assuming we'll get more people that are kind of criminals, underworldy type people that we meet that will join the join the area and we'll be able to trade with them for various things that might be relevant to them. Hay spirals. Apparently I can't jump very well. Crimson candle. Ah, that'll be being a properly evil guy for the sake of just murdering on behalf of a different um, faction. I was going to say Covenant then. This isn't Dark Souls. Right, yeah, and then this brings us back up to time. Okay, well, I think I'll leave this episode here. We'll head back into Ashbourne at the start of the next one and head left and up. Um, yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.